hey guys and welcome back to another video and if you're new welcome my name is Hania and for today's video I'll be doing a get ready with me so if you want to see how I got this look and then I keep on watching okay so it's been a minute ooh. and I, ooh. I haven't spoken to you guys literally since 2019 so I want to wish everyone a happy holidays happy new year's Merry Christmas happy Kwanzaa Hanukkah all of the above so um, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick get ready with me and just talk about holidays, everything that's happening or has happened. Um, so yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my face using the Bobbi Brown Face Face Primer and Moisturizer. This is so good and hydrating because, ooh, I put a little too much, but um, I really like this product only because it's a two-in-one and since... It's all winter time. My face tends to dry out so bad. I'm more on the dry side than the oily. So this is like my favorite go-to primer. Even during the summer, it's a two-in-one. You don't have to use a lot of products. So that's bomb. So I'm going to let the primer kind of sink into the skin and I'm going to do my brows. So in order to do my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in Dark Brown because I do have dark brown hair. So I'm just going to fill them in. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Um, let's get a mirror. So I don't know if you guys follow me on my Instagram or not, but if you don't, I'm going to leave it linked right here and down below. And um, the only reason I say that is because I recently moved last month. That's why I really haven't been updating on my YouTube channel. I hardly post. I think I only have like one post for my birthday. And I will get into that later on in the video, but... um. Yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading, so I'm sorry, you guys, but I have a good reason. I recently bought a house with my mom, and this is my new room. I'm going to do a house tour very, very soon, if you guys want. If you guys want me to do a room tour, a glam tour, well, my glam room is nowhere near to be done, but um, once it is done, believe me, I will do a glam tour. Um, my room, I'm still kind of putting it together. It's still kind of plain, but it's very clean. I really like it. Like, it's big, but it's it's perfect so i'm just applying my foundation i know i literally finished this whole bottle this is the born this way foundation this is a medium to full coverage it's bomb it's so freaking good you guys um i am in the shade natural beige oh my god this is my favorite my favorite my favorite i've been using it for years now and it's so bomb you guys i'm just gonna do that. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna pat that all over my face. And I don't even need a mirror because it blends seamlessly. It's bomb. I like to bring it down to the neck and kind of to my ears so everything looks all right. Even though I'm gonna be in a movie theater, I don't know who would be looking at my ears, but you never know. People are creepy nowadays. Now here's a tip for you ladies who don't like it to look cakey underneath the eyes. When I apply my foundation, I don't, I personally don't like to bring it down underneath my eyes because you want that layer that you put underneath your eyes to be as, not little, but um, you don't want to have like a layer over layer over layer then put powder or else it's gonna look flaky and cakey. Um, it doesn't matter what products you use. At the end of the day, when you put a product on top of another, it's not gonna look good. Personally, that's what I think, but you can do whatever. Float your boat. Onto concealer, I'm gonna be using my go-to concealer. This is by Huda Beauty. Um, 
So I don't know the shade on this only because it disappeared because I literally use this all the time, but I want to say this is cookie dough. I think it's cookie dough. I, start, I see a C, so it has to be something with the C. Cotton candy maybe, I don't know. It could be cotton candy or cookie dough. Anyways, um, I love this only because when you apply it, it feels so cool when you put on the concealer, literally because of like the, what's it called, the silver tip thing. It's so bomb. You kind of want to work fast with this concealer because it tends to dry out quickly. Thank God that foam on my pants and not on my new sheets. My mom would have killed me. So speaking of my mom, the other day I was on my YouTube channel and I was looking to see what kind of videos you guys were into seeing and it turns out one of my most viewed videos is with my mom when we were in Lebanon and we did um, a Beirut vlog together. So I, this year I would like to do more videos with my mom since you guys love videos with her. Like My mom is so fun to do videos with. But I don't know what videos we can do together. So if you guys know any mother-daughter videos that we can do, let me know in the comments down below. And I'd be more than happy to do them with her. I just have to ask her, but my mom's not going to say no. So we can definitely do that. We're just going to get some translucent powder and I love the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's my go-to. I've been using it for years and I just, I don't know what I'd do without it, honestly. I always have backups. But yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of powder, look up, and I'm going to bake. The Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I like to use this for cream contour. It's super bomb. Put two lines on my nose. They were not the straightest lines, but that's the beauty of makeup. You can always tweak it, conceal, cover, and do it over until your nose looks so small. And I'm just gonna blend that out. See, I already have a small nose. I don't know why I'd like my nose to look even smaller, but that's what I do. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M449 brush. And this is amazing for blending out cream contours. And if you don't know where to contour, do this. And right there. Like, see that bone? Right there. That's where you want to contour. I don't know what to do with my hair, you guys. I mean, like, I don't even need to dress fancy, but I don't know what to do with my hair. Do I leave it like this? Do I put it up and a half up, half down? I don't know. What are your guys' go-to hair, uh, has and hair moves? I was about to say hair moves. Uh, what are your guys' go-to hair looks? Anything fast, productive, let me know. Um, I think I'm gonna get the keratin done again because that was way easier and I didn't even have to do anything. So I'm going to blend the, uh, what's it called, the concealer right here on my jawline and bring it down so everything looks blended and it doesn't look like your makeup stops here. It continues and yeah, blend, blend, blend. Okay, I'm obviously not done blending. You can never be done blending. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beauty blender and really Get everything blended and look seamlessly into the skin. So now that I'm done blending in my cream contour, I am gonna, oh, what am I doing? 
I'm gonna go into this palette right here that I've been using the whole video and um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Hula. Hula is an amazing universal bronzer contour color you can use and it has so many blushes. It has California, Dandelion, Gold Rush, uh, Rocketeur and it comes with this brush right here. I don't even know if you guys saw that but it's so bomb. And I'm going to go in with a brush like this. This is from Smashbox, and this is their buildable uh, cheek, and it doesn't have a number, but it's so cool because you can hold it from here. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. It has, like a, like, a place where you can hold right here and back here. Obviously, if you hold closer, you have more control, and if you hold from back here, then you let it, like, do its thing. But I like to have a little bit more control of where I put my makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go in with Dandelion because it's a nice matte um, blush and I'm not trying to look cray cray, you know? I'm not trying to look like a clown. I'm gonna lightly pack that onto the apples of my face. Now I'm gonna go in with this Luxie 520 tapered face brush and you haven't noticed already i am obsessed with the hula bronzer so we're gonna go into the hula bronzer again tap off the excess and go contour my face oh my god didn't even notice that so i'm just gonna set my face real quick So now that I'm done setting my face, I'm gonna go into this Dior palette. It is so bomb. I already hit pan on it, and this is their uh, what is this? Their glow face palette. I'm gonna be going in and strobe gold and strobe uh, white. I'm gonna blend those two together and use that as a highlight. And then I'm gonna go into their bronzer and blush and make my face look extra glowy. I'm gonna be going in with this Smashbox angled blush but i'm gonna use it to have more control and really pat into my bronzer i mean into my contour so i'm gonna do that and a little goes a long way you don't want to put a lot and i kind of like to do this as the uh, setting spray is setting into my face like that it looks extra pigmented and pops even more and i'm just gonna pat it i'm not really gonna blend it I'm gonna, gonna go in. So I'm gonna go in with this blending brush right here. It is so pretty and fluffy and it's gonna get everything done for me real quick. So I'm gonna go in with Secret. Secret is this beautiful shade right here. And I'm gonna blend that all over my crease. Now that I'm done with that, I feel like I want to add a little bit of color, but nothing crazy. So I'm going to go in with Teddy. Or no, not Teddy. You know what? I'm going to go in with Tickle. Tickle is this shade right here. I'm going to go with I'm going to stick to mattes and probably put like a little bit of glitter. Not like a lot, but like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what I do. So guys, I have an idea. Since you guys haven't seen my mom since my last vlog in Lebanon, and that's literally back, we're gonna go back to like July, June. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me right now when I go pick her up from work. See you guys. Oh no, I lied. I did a video with her. Well, I didn't do it with her, but my mom was in it for a little bit. Um, my vlog when I went to Bryant Park when I was in the city. My mom's in that video, I forgot. Okay. Anyways, I'll take my camera with me right now when I go pick her up. Um, but this is the eye look that we're going for right now. Going on with Tickle. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Blend it out. The Huda Beauty palette. This one right here. It's so bomb. And I feel like you get the most pigment when you use your fingers. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna be using this liner to tight line and maybe do a little bit of a smoky look. I also have this in brown, so I might put that on the waterline, but I'm gonna be using this right now and it's super duper creamy. This is um, a gel eyeliner, so it's gonna be super pigmented, super bomb, and it literally glides right in. yeah guys this eyeliner is super duper bomb it glides on it's so smooth like it feels like butter when it goes in i don't know if that's weird i've never put butter in my eyes but this feels so bomb now i'm gonna curl my lashes and i'm gonna be using this eyelash curler by tarte because my lashes they are pretty long but they're straight so i like to curl them and prep them for mascara And I'm gonna be using this old school Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. It's waterproof, it's so good. Like I love all the new mascaras that are out right now, but this literally separates my lashes. It makes them go up to the gods, it's so bomb. So that's really it for my makeup, you guys. When I come home, I'll probably add some more highlight because I love highlight and um, lipstick, of course. But right now, I'm just gonna go get my mom. Oh, and then I gotta do my hair, of course. But I hope you guys like this look. Just think I have lipstick on because I don't. Okay, so we are going to the car. I look bald and really bad from this angle, but... Oh, it's so cold! Saving is easy with Spectrum Mobile. Unlike other providers, you can actually mix and match our unlimited... So, you guys, I have a camera in my car, but I never use it only because I don't trust it. It's not that I don't trust it, but I'm used to looking around, but there's a camera right here. Is that weird? I don't know. Okay, you guys, so we are on our way to go pick up me Madre from the train. My mom works in Manhattan. She works for an exclusive designer i'm kidding not exclusive but a very famous designer company hey you guys so we are here at the train station i know i'm looking a little crazy my doggies right here say hi to the camera me and my doggie are waiting for my mom here at the train station so in the meantime we're gonna have a dance party right hey. Yo, me, 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 Get off me. My dog is sitting here like a human being. Look. I'll pause the music. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, but he's literally here waiting for my mom. V goes, there anything you'd like to say to the vlog? I feel the same way. The song was amazing. Uh oh, who's that Vigo? He knows. And that's how he acts when my mom comes. And there is my mom. Say hi to the vlog. Okay, that's oh. Hey. Hi, mom. Say hi to the vlog. Okay, you guys. So we are back home. My mom's outside with my dog. Hey, you guys. So my mom surprised me with a tart and a tiramisu from the Bread Factory in Manhattan. Thank you, mom. <laughs> So we're gonna open it up. Ooh, looking nice and fresh. I don't know what to have first. Okay, if you're Peruvian, you can relate. We listen to Grupo Cinco like 25-8 a week. Hey guys, so this is my completed look. I have this crop top, a pink sweater or hoodie thing from Pink. And it's cute. And then I'm wearing these black leggings. Super cute, these are my socks, and I'm wearing this scarf because it is cold outside, and I have my boots downstairs, so yeah, this is my completed look. I hope you guys like it. I think I'm gonna end the video right here because, you know, I'm not trying to get in trouble while recording a movie, I think that's illegal. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see me do next, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Another thing I forgot to mention is a perfume that I'm wearing. I know this is weird, but I like to let you know I like to let you guys know what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing this Idole perfume by Lancome. I got this sent over to me and I'm almost running out. So if you guys are looking at this video, please send me another one. But um it smells so good and I always get compliments, so 
from one girl to another or guy go get this perfume and you will have many people asking you what you smell like where you got it from and even people all over you 